right. We're going to start this day out right, man. I'm going to smoke up a couple Rex ribs here. Oh, that towel's no good no more. Guys, I got my coals going. Got a few soaked uh, hickory chunks in there. We are just going to put these dudes right like that. Good smells to work by. I've got my rib rub on there, Worcestershire liquid smoke. I got minced garlic and brown sugar all rubbed in there. I try to keep it around 225 degrees. Probably take about six, seven hours. And uh, I'll be back for the chowing down. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mike and this is Dogman Homestead. Currently we are doing the patio and deck build and soon to be starting the storage room. Uh, I appreciate all my subscribers. I got a lot of new ones in the last few weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. Today we're going to finish up this uh, back wall, put the bottom part on. I did find some more uh, treated 2x4s. They were buried under one of them tarps and I found some more so I should be able to get that done. Then I think I'm going to put the rest of this T111 on, get this wall cleaned up, and we'll go from there. So I uh, may even start framing on this. I have to look at the weather. The house wrap I got isn't going to be here till Thursday, so we got rain coming. I don't want the 2x4s that I got for this are not treated, so I don't want them getting wet for multiple days. Uh, you know, they can get wet a few times. It don't hurt them, but you don't want them really to get exposed to that. So anyway, let's get busy, man. All right, I got this one uh, starting to frame in. And uh, I got to do that one there. That's what I'm working on now. So we'll try to get this done. And we start putting some T T111 on. I want to get this thing all ready to paint. So I want that on there. Uh, it's going to be the same color, the tan color as the house. And like I said before, all these will be, the trim and that will be black. And... Uh, I'm going to get putting this on. Guys, the wind has been pretty bad the last couple days. I know in my videos there's been a lot of wind. There ain't a lot I can do about it. You know, it's a GoPro. I don't know what you can get for that. There's nowhere to plug in a microphone, so bear with me. All right. Get out of the way. I don't want you out. Alright, what world's I? Where's my 227 inch pieces? There's one. And there's the other one. Alright. I ain't using no nails on this one. Didn't hold too well. Trying to find ways to do framing without getting on my knees. So any way I can figure that out, I will do. Put these staples on the end of the wood with that tag on it. They can mess you up. They 
just moved all these tools over here and laid them down. Now they're in my way. That's the story of my life, man. Clean this up a bit if you guys can't see me. Not that I need seeing. framed in I'm ready to start doing some T111 in them is that a word T111 in them well it is now because I just invented it so you know get my cheapy you know I spend all this money on all this materials and I got those cheap piece of junk sawhorses I need to build me a set of sawhorses uh, I'll get this stuff to build one or maybe I'll get I, those things are yeah, they're, they're 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 working <laughs> but all right man let's uh, get some t111 on I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do up here yet I'm thinking I'm just gonna put t111 across there I could screen it I don't know if I want to deal with that and all that funny shape and all that but I think I'll probably just put t111 across the top we'll see I'm not gonna mess with that today but what we're gonna work on is getting around the bottoms here I'm gonna probably get this wall on get it across the wall give it a you know it's gonna start taking some shape today so let's get it going man time I hit that record button things like that happen as soon as that camera's off boy everything goes smooth I don't know man the bad thing about this stuff is you gotta cut it you can only cut it in four foot sections because if you want it to go up and down like that so that's what I'm gonna do
my knee pad. Uh, old back of a army chair. Got it at army surplus at the pawn shop I worked at. Great for a knee pad. If you see an old chair in a thrift shop, maybe that might have something like that. Saves on the old knees. Well, that's a good tight fit. starting to look like something. Alright. Got these on here. And this uh, screen tight has got the inch and a half that goes all the way around. And then I'll probably put a piece of trim on that. If, you know, we're going to make this look good. So don't judge it now. But this way when the dogs come in they can't, you know, do anything to the screen. It kind of gives it a little bit of an enclosure. I like it. Now, let's check in on these ribs. We'll throw a couple pieces of hickory on there. That's, I just shut the vents. You get a lot. Oh, oh, that smells good. Starting to pull back from the bones. We're going to control the heat a little bit. That's actually 275, which ain't bad. That's a good temperature. 225 to 275. And I've got, I don't like to open it too much. Got a tray with apple juice in it underneath. Helps with the flavor. We'll be back. Doody, doody, do. You have to sing a good doody, do, do song when you're doing work, man. This tail. Dark bird again. a story about a man named Bree and he had three very lovely girls and there it is guys starting to look like something now huh you know I hate to admit it it kind of looks like a snack bar like, like the frosty cream on sling blade oh that gives me an idea can't help myself. Can I help you, sir? Can I help you, sir? Mm. 
What you got up in there is good to eat. <clears throat> well, we got bongo burgers, bongo shakes, creamy dogs. Would, would you like me to go through the whole list? You got biscuits for sale in there? Huh. I reckon what you like to eat. I reckon I'll have some of the big ones. Alright, dude. Alright, we're gonna give these dudes their first basting. Put some of this sauce on this one. I've never used this kind. We'll see. We'll do one in that and one in stuff I know is good. Alright, let's bast it on there. I'm a bast. Oh, I can't say that on here. Ooh, look at them dudes. I just slapped it all over my sock. Alright. Then we're going to put on some head country now. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. Bast it. Mm. Mm. Can't wait to dig into these. No, I'm not eating them all at once, guys. I'll eat these a couple days, but everybody knows there ain't a whole lot of meat on ribs anywho. Alright. Alright guys, now the part I've been waiting for, I know that. Let's get this butt ugly wall covered. I'm gonna take this tin off, this two by four, get this wall prepped, and we're gonna start slapping this stuff up. I'm tired of looking at it. It's butt ugly. Be back. Let me get it let me get it all prepared and then I'll come back when I start putting it up. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, I'm going to leave that last piece off so I can reframe that door. That, that hole isn't going to work where it's at. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work there. Uh, got these up. That looks a whole lot better. Got a lot accomplished today. So hopefully by the end of next week, man, we're making some really good progress on this thing. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Give me a like. Give me an unlike. Be honest. All right, guys, I'm going to go eat me some ribs and some baked beans and maybe a baked potato. I don't know. Happy trails. <laughs>